one of the questions that I tend to get quite a lot is, as a professional programmer, how do I write code? What do I do when I don't know what code to write? Do I use Google? Do I use Stack Overflow? Am I just that smart that I can just kind of do it from memory without even having to Google or anything? Is What is life like as a professional programmer? Well, we're gonna talk about that today because it seems to be something that a lot of people are confused about. And I'm just gonna talk about my experiences as a software engineer working on core technology at EA and how I kind of write code and how I use the internet or other references to kind of facilitate that. So let's just get right on into it. So, first of all, yes. I mean, I'm pretty sure every programmer on the planet writes code with the internet. I mean, it's very difficult to actually write code without having anything to refer to. Now, like, to be, to be concise with my answer, what I would say is that it depends on what I'm writing. If I'm writing something kind of simple, like, okay, let's just talk about game programming and like game engine development because that's what I do professionally. If I'm writing something that I've written before, like let's just say maybe a 2D batch renderer or something similar, I don't really need to look that up because I've done it before and I've done it enough times that I know how that, how that, how that actual component is architectured. I know how to actually write that code. I've done it before. I might want to investigate different ways of doing it in the case that maybe I have a different idea or I'm on a different platform that I've never worked on. But for the most part, like I don't really need to consult a reference for that because I know what I'm doing and I've done it before and generally I tend to remember things pretty well. But if it's something fairly complicated, like maybe a physically based rendering like shader or something like that, I can't write a PBR shader from memory. I, that's like a thousand lines of like maths equations. Like I can't do that. Even though I have done it before, I can't just do that from memory. So of course I'm going to be Googling for references or maybe on GitHub looking through source code or maybe like asking questions on Stack Overflow. I don't do that that often. But those kinds of things. Of course I'm going to do things like that because I am human and I can't just remember everything that comes at me. But, but I will say that there are things, of course, that I do know. And me personally, like, I'm kind of a big believer in the fact that you should be memorizing the code that you're writing. Like, not specifically trying to memorize it, but there's no reason for you to not know any code or not be able to write something on paper. I'm fairly confident that I could write an entire game engine and a game on paper, and it would probably kind of mostly compile, right? Like, not saying huge complicated systems, but in general, I, I should feel, I should be, I am confident enough that I am competent at actually writing something down on paper without looking at any references, kind of like what you might do in an exam. But when it does come to complicated things, or maybe looking up API things, I would definitely be consulting the internet. So don't be afraid if you're, if you find yourself Googling constantly, especially if you're just learning programming as well. Like, it's fine if you're, a, if you've been programming for years, but if you're kind of new to it, or you're new to OpenGL, for example, and you're, you find yourself Googling it, well, of course you're gonna Google stuff. Like, that's normal, people do that. When, I, when, I, when I'm at work at EA, everyone's got like Stack Overflow or Google open on one of their monitors. Like, it's just, that's how we roll. That's how you write code. So don't think that it's some weird thing that you, that you, that you just don't know what you're doing if you're using those resources. They're there for you to use. Books as well are fantastic. I, at, like, in the description of most of my videos, I usually leave a few Amazon links to books that I really like. So check those out if you haven't already. But in general, books are a really good resource because they're written by authors who more often than not know what they're talking about and who have a lot of experience and have put a lot of effort into actually writing material. Whereas Stack Overflow Answers are usually just hastily written without that much thought. So don't start to replace books with things like Stack Overflow or Google or like GitHub but just use them as an additional resource and they will help you out a lot. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts uh, let me know what your thoughts are with the whole kind of looking up stuff on the internet and googling and stack overflow. I'm pretty sure 100% of you watching this video if you are programmers actually do use those resources. But still let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time. Cut.